now what we saw in our previous session was the following <coughs> if there were n different things if there were n different things then the number of permutations of these n different things in a circle number of permutations of n different things taken all at a time in a circle was n minus 1 factorial half of this count was clockwise half of this count was anti clockwise now suppose we have n different things now we want to arrange them in a circle arrange them in a circle taking r at a time taking r at a time number of permutations of n different things taken r at a time we want to arrange them in a circle what would be the count for this so suppose these were the n different things and i take r at a time for example so these were say a1 a2 a3 ar a right these are n different things and i, I want to find out in how many ways can i arrange these n things by taking them taking r at a time in a circle in a circle so let's say there are x such circular permutations h x such circular permutations hmm? so one of these is say for example this one of these is this way for example a1 of the x circular permutations say one of them is a1 a2 a3 a4 a r a1 a2 a3 a4 a r right <coughs> now now this is one this is one now in this what i could have done is i could have cut this circle at a1 i could have cut this circle at a1 and i would have got a linear permutation say i would have got say a1 a2 a3 a r is what i would have got if i cut it at a1 and i arrange it and i you know straighten the circle if i cut the circle at a1 and straighten the circle i would have got a linear permutation right or i could have cut the circle at a2 i could have cut the circle at a2 and i would have got a linear arrangement a2 a3 a4 a r i would have got one more linear arrangement i could have cut the circle at a3 and i would have got another linear arrangement a3 a4 a r i'm sorry there is going to be a2 a3 a4 a r a1 and then i have like a a3 a4 a r and then a1 and a2 right and so on so forth so i could have cut the circle at a1 and i would have got one linear arrangement linear permutation i would could have cut the circle at a2 and i could have got another linear permutation at a3 one more at a4 one more at ar one more so then that means for every x such circular permutations of which this is one i would have got r linear permutations i would have got r linear permutations yes or no right it means for each one of these circular permutations i would have got r linear permutations so for x of x such circular permutations the linear permutations would have been x into r and that would essentially have been the number of linear permutations of n things n different things taken r at a time right i would have got all possible linear permutations of n things taken r at a time if i did this process right i took a circular permutation and i keep cutting at a1 a2 a3 a4 r ways if there are x such circular permutations i would have got r x as the total number of linear permutations of n things taken r at a time and that would have been n p r so then x would have been what n p r by r good for us so the number of permutations of n different things taken r at a time along a circle would be n p r by r not all at a time if it was all at a time it would have been n minus 1 factorial but taking them r at a time it becomes npr by 
are. Now, what we have done is, in our previous session, a special case of this, where r is equal to n. When r becomes equal to n, what happens to this x? x becomes like a npn divided by n. Put r equal to n. So npn is like a n factorial divided by n. That makes it n minus 1 factorial, which is what we did in the previous session, right? So the number of circular permutations would have been n minus 1 factorial if r is equal to n. Otherwise, it's n p r by r. Very clearly in this, like I said before, half of them are circular anti-clockwise, half of them are clockwise. But if clockwise and anti-clockwise are different in a given physical situation, then the count is this. But if they are indistinguishable, the count would be half of this. Yes or no? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.